you actually see it straight in front of me, it might look like this, right? So how do I draw this space to that space? And we know the illusion is to go from small to larger, but how do you make it look proportionate when you do that? Well, there's a famous artist called Julian Bieber that is a chalk art um, artist. And what he does is he does these giant chalk murals. And even Julian Bieber, who was very well art educated and spent many, many years producing art and doing this, he said that the hardest thing he learned was foreshortening and the years that it took were unreal. So that when he does in chalk some of these ads that, I don't know, a foot will be 60 feet long in order for it to appear to be realistic. So let me just uh, bear with me one second and I will give you that comparison. Now, what is our time? We're almost All right, so let me give you an image and you have the idea. This is one of the ones. Okay, so do you see the optical illusion here? What you see is her foot stopping right there. If you were there on the pavement, this foot goes back like 15 more feet. It is like 30 feet from here to here. That's foreshortening. Otherwise, the optical illusion wouldn't work. These are chalk renderings that he does on pavement. What do you think it takes to have that illusion work? Can you imagine you're walking down a sidewalk and see this? Pretty incredible, isn't it? Scale in a in a proportion. It's individual proportion, and he's one of the only ones that can accurately do foreshortening. It is a skill set that will happen in high Renaissance, and he is one of the only ones in our world today that can actually still pull this off. And he's a chalk artist. Isn't that crazy? I love that. So, anyway, so that is for sure.